everybody and welcome back to Art of La Carte. I just bought these little wooden peg dolls from Amazon. If you're interested in where I bought them, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But they're for a painting workshop that I'm doing at my museum. And while I would love to have all of you come to the workshop, I am recording the process of creating the sample pieces that I'll use and I'll tell you all the same tips and tricks that I give in my little workshop. The supplies that you will need is one, you'll need the actual wooden peg dolls. I'll leave links in the description box below for all the materials if you want to purchase them on Amazon. You'll need some craft paint. I just use Apple Barrel brand. You can get it at Walmart. It's good and really, really cheap. If you enjoy really getting down your designs, you may want a pencil to kind of sketch in a little bit of that. You'll need a palette for your paint, some brushes. I highly recommend a fine liner brush. That Those brushes that have like three hairs on them, they're so fine if you want to get those good details. And then um, some water to clean up your brushes and a little paper towel. These are really, really easy and great for any age because you can be as simple as you want or you can be really, really detailed. All you have to do is Google wooden peg dolls to see some of the amazing designs that people have made. Even though these are really easy, I will share a few tips to help make the process even easier. So step number one is to pre-plan your, your design. A lot of times I'm just tempted to jump into the paint and start slapping it on there without really thinking about it. But if you have an idea of what you want the outfit to look like or if there's any special features, that can really help. Now, if you're a hyper into setting in your design, this is the part where you can take your pencil and very lightly sketch in your design where you want the hair to go, the face to go. Though, remember to sketch it in lightly so the pencil marks don't show up after you've painted it. If you use a really opaque paint, you won't have to worry about it, but it generally the cheaper craft paints are a little bit transparent, so some things might show through. So something to keep in mind. Step number two is to think about your creation from the from back to front. Instead of jumping in and painting the details for the face and the eyes, first think about what complexion you want, your skin tone. So paint that on first. Um, same thing with your hair, your base clothes. You might wanna have you know, a nice shirt with a fun design or maybe some jewelry on top of that. We'll paint the base outfit first and then you can move on to detailing. Step number three is to let it dry. Now here's a pro tip. When you're painting your base paint, use your paint very sparingly. A thin, super thin layers, that helps it dry a lot faster. If you glob a whole bunch of paint on there, it's gonna take forever for it to dry. So thin little bits of paint at a time dry super fast. Then you can go in and add those details face, details to the clothing, hair, dilly bobs, highlights, things like that. But again, even with those things, think about how you can layer those up. So like with the eyes, I'll go in and first apply in the white part of the eye, then the iris, then the pupil, then I will paint in like the eye shape, like the eyelids and the eyelashes. When you're working with something that has such small detail, any way you can make it easier is going to be helpful. The last tip I have for you is just be creative and imaginative with this. You will be amazed at what you can design. If you happen to make one of these peg dolls, I would love to see it. If you haven't already, I will leave links to my social media in the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram or on Twitter or Facebook and post your pictures there. While I'm working on my three little peg dolls, I want to talk to you guys about my new job. I've been talking a little bit about it in previous videos and have been telling you, I'll tell you about it later in another video. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna talk about my new job. First, I need to rewind going back to last fall. Some of you may remember I talked about a art class that I was teaching for my local art museum. It was a comic book zine class. In the process of getting connected with the art museum, I found out that there was a position available for a new director of art education, which sounds really, really important. And I was encouraged to apply for the job. Now, when I heard it, I have to tell you, I thought, no, I can't apply for that job. A director of art education working at an art museum. Working in a museum, you have to have like some sort of degree, right? <laughs> but the more I thought about it and the more I talked with my friends about it, the more everyone encouraged me, just try out for it. What's the worst that can happen? So I applied for the job, went to several different interviews and got the position. I live in a really small town. So to have a job that's art-based is 
a rare thing. That's why I love my YouTube channel. I love being able to create art on YouTube and and share art with you guys, but to get an actual job outside of my own studio that's art-based, really, really rare. I mean, we have one art store, love our little art store, but it's a tiny little store and they don't need very many employees, so there's, there's not a lot of opportunity. So I am thrilled and honored to have this position. Let me tell you a little bit about what my job entails. In our art museum, we have an art education classroom, and we have all different types of art classes in there, from watercolor, acrylic painting, pastels, you name it in art, we probably have had a class in there. So my job is to find art instructors who want to teach and get their class set up, advertise, help students to sign up for the class, facilitate anything that they need. On top of that, my job is also helping out with social media and advertising. If you'd like to follow along some of the adventures that I have in the museum, I'll leave the Coos Art Museum's Instagram link in the description box below. The great thing about this position is that it is part-time. I want a part-time job because I already have a full-time job with my art here in my studio with YouTube videos and my comic. So this job works in perfectly with that because I can do both. It's a lot of work having a full-time job and then a part-time job on top of that. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Many of you hold multiple jobs, so you understand how all of a sudden now you have no life. <laughs> I am having so much fun and it is so perfect to be able to work there and then come home and come out into the studio and work here. It, it makes my time in the studio even sweeter to me. Um, I really enjoy and appreciate the days where I can have a full day in, in the studio. So. Um, if anything, it is making my passion for creating art and creating videos even stronger. Never fear, as long as I can, I will be uploading videos here to my YouTube channel. I know there's a lot of things going to be happening in the new year and with the new rules that YouTube has. I'm hoping to make a video to address that soon, before the new year. But as far as I'm concerned, as long as I can, I will continue to create content here for you guys and, of course, be continuing to work on my comic. So for those of you who are supporting me over on Patreon or following me on Patreon, never fear, the comic is moving forward. I just finished a new page and have the next page almost sketched in. So I'm hoping to work on the inking and coloring this coming week, so everything is moving forward. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video. I hope you enjoyed this, this quick this quick little tutorial on painting peg dolls, plus an update on what's going on in my life. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys, keep being creative, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.